Welcome back to day two to making more money this week. Um, I'm super excited to be here. We're going in deep this week to really bust you through your financial glass ceiling. So make sure that you watched yesterday's training and you did your homework and declared how much you are going to make this week in the Facebook group. Okay, and if you didn't get to watch yesterday's Q&A, we covered lots of great stuff. So go ahead and watch that too. Today, I want to talk to you about the three major mistakes women make in business and how to overcome them. Of course, I'm not just going to tell you what the mistakes are without beginning to turn them around and what they truly mean. So mistake number one for women is hiding. Hiding. We spoke a little bit about this on the Q&A yesterday about um, what we can do instead of what we need to do, which is hiding. So hiding is when you think, oh, I need to first build my website. I need to get my business cards. I need to get that one more certification. I need to get that PhD. Whatever it is for you, this is how um, we tend to hide. And even when it comes to um, building a website or getting the business cards or getting a new headshot, those are, I want you to become aware of that, that that is hiding. It's not putting yourself out there. And what's really at play is your perfectionism and feeling that I'm not ready yet. There's this, I want to appear professional. I have to look professional because deep down you're not feeling professional. Okay, so become aware of that. Hiding is one of the number one problems because there's a sense of maybe I'm not good enough yet. You can make more money this week. You can build a strong business without business cards, without a website, definitely without a website. I mean, we get, you do want a website eventually, but it's not the number one thing. I mean, a website is another thing you have to do to get, um, get traffic there. I mean, especially with Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram, you can have a strong presence in any one of those and start generating revenue without without the website. So just be aware of that, that sometimes when we're a little trepidatious, a little bit fearful about really putting ourselves out there, um, that it can look like, oh, I need to do this first. So that's hiding. And you definitely, in order to increase your, your income and bust through your financial glass ceiling, you definitely want to be seen. The more people who get to see you and get to know you, the more people who are going to buy from you. The second one is um, not marketing yourself. This is different than hiding. I mean, this is... Um, how many times I've heard my own clients and potential clients saying, well, I really don't like to talk about myself. Have you ever gone to uh, a networking event? And this is what, where I hear women saying this. Well, I don't like to, you know, toot my own horn. And this comes from a couple of levels. One, it comes from our old programming being female of, you know, not wanting to attract too much attention, not wanting to seem conceited, um, and ultimately not wanting to disappoint people. Because what if you toot your own horn and somebody hires you and then you don't fulfill, right? So recognize that underlying fear for you. And I invite you to get super confident about... Um, about marketing yourself. Now, I'll tell you, I have no problem saying that no matter um, what challenges a client comes to me with, I can help them bust through those challenges. I have no problem saying that um, because I have, I have over a decade of doing this work and so I have all of that um, experience and evidence in my mind. But let me tell you this, when I first started, I did not have any evidence, but I tell you, I 
still, um, I wasn't as comfortable as, as I was, um, as I am now then, but I would still say that whoever shows up in front of me, I can serve. And the reason why that is, is that I had a deep faith in that the work that I'm here to do, which is the work I'm doing, I have felt and known intuitively all along that this is my work, that this was my divinely given soul blueprint work that I'm here to do on this planet. And so that God or the universe wouldn't put in front of me people that I cannot serve to the, their highest ability to receive. So even when I didn't have the evidence, I felt confident in saying, no matter who comes before me, whatever showed up, that I could help them. Because I allowed the universe, God, my guides, teachers, and angels, whatever you call them, to work through me. I really took myself out of it right? I took myself out of it and allowed the divine to work through me because my intention was to serve at the highest degree. And I knew with that kind of a heart intention and with divinity on my side that I wouldn't go wrong and I haven't. So be willing to market yourself and sing your own praises. Be willing to sing your own praises. If you're holding back, then you are not, you, you are holding back and you are blocking your receptivity to your money. And thirdly is um, having expectations. So we talked a little bit about this on the Q&A yesterday. I want you to be aware of what I mean, is that as you, as you activate your internal money generating system, you're going to be led by your intuition. Okay, so you're going to be following your heart, taking the actions that your intuition is telling you. That is your heart brain talking to you. By tapping into your internal money generating system, you are building a bridge between your logic and your heart, okay? So that intuition isn't always going to seem, well, it's never going to seem logical. Sometimes it'll seem irresponsible. A lot of times it will be, it'll seem like the thing that you're not supposed to do. But what I'm saying is that when you follow your intuition and you take that step, we're often tempted to have logical expectations of what that of the results that step should have okay so i want you to release those expectations because when you have those expectations and then the results don't look like what you want them to we tend to take that personally like um we'll tell ourselves story like oh i guess that wasn't my intuition I don't know how to recognize my intuition. I guess nobody wants what I have to offer. I guess this is the wrong time. I guess it should be in divine timing. You are divine, it's your timing, okay? So having that mistake of thinking of you setting up logical, what you call logical expectations, the expectations are truly ego, and when those expectations panning out, taking it personally, making it about you, okay? That comes from being insecure about what you're offering and having doubt around it, okay? So here's a way, number one, your homework. I want you to choose one of those top three mistakes that you're going to work on um, for the rest of this week, whether it's hiding, not not tooting your own horn, or um, having expectations and taking the results personally, right? So choose one of those, one of those so you're not overwhelmed. We have five days together. Choose one of those so that you can focus 
on that one this week because even just focusing on one is going to open you up to receive more. Uh, post in the Facebook group which one you're focusing on. And if you have any questions around it, I can definitely go in there and answer any questions. Now, if you hear my dog snoring, if you hear that noise, that's just my dog snoring. Want to get that out of the way. Um, otherwise, I'm self-conscious about it, thinking, are you wondering what that sound is? So, how to turn around those three mistakes. Those three mistakes come from a lack of self-worth. And there are four divine truths, four divine activations within you that activate your money generating system. So write these down, okay? The first divine truth is I am lovable. Knowing this activates your money generating system. I am wanted. I am a blessing and I am good. Okay, so in the next 24 hours, I really want you to kind of like bask in those truths. Imagine that you are soaking in a tub or a pool of this truth and you're just like, you're just being enveloped by these four truths. I am lovable, I am wanted, I am a blessing, and I am good. Okay, now consider those three mistakes of hiding, not tooting your own horn, and having expectations, you know, having those expectations leads to disappointment making it about you. When you don't get the results you want, making you wrong, okay? That's what that really is. So if you know those four divine truths, that I am a blessing, I am good, I am wanted, I am lovable, knowing those, could you stop hiding? Knowing those, could you start tooting your own, home, your own horn? Knowing those, could you read the results you got and know that everything is happening for you, right? Could you have that faith knowing that I am lovable, I am good, I am wanted, I am a blessing? When you know those pieces, and I want you to think about that, because on day four, you're going to have a big assignment, okay? And so I really want you beginning to embody and maybe creating a mantra out of those four divine truths to start activating it within you. I am good, I am wanted, I am a blessing, I am lovable. Knowing that, are you willing to be seen? Knowing that, are you willing to tell people how good you are at what you do so that you can serve them? Knowing that, are you willing to take risks not knowing what the outcome will be? Are you willing to risk that the outcome may not meet your expectations? But when you know all of those four divine truths, you know that you are being held and supported. Okay, so those are the three biggest mistakes. I want you to begin eradicating one of those this week. Put in the Facebook group which one you're focusing on and I will support you in that. I will be going live again today at noon, okay? So I will see you live at noon today to answer any questions about this topic or yesterday's topic. I'm su super excited to be serving you and awakening your innate ability to generate money. Bye for now, and I'll see you tomorrow.